Quasis is a complex adaptive system, an adaptive nervous system. Interoperable means that different applications or even different networks can interact with each other. Asia-centricity is the quality of a technology to put the user in the center. Many people have this weird feeling that when they use technology they are being sucked in. They are not in control. They are being manipulated. And that this technology is something different to them, this weird thing that comes in and they have to adapt. That's what we want to change. We want to have technology adapt to your needs, to our needs. And back in alignment with life so that you have the ability to really make sense of what's going on in society, on this planet, in the intriguing and awesome complex adaptive system of life. At Quasis, we're trying to model our digital infrastructure in a way that is more representative of how we actually work in real life. Currently, the internet is architected in a way in which you go into a space that's controlled and confined and siloed by a company or a particular entity. We can't rely on the existing set of tools out there. We need a different set of tools. In recent years, there's been a lot of attention brought to the fact that our data and our mental space has been hijacked by corporations. Now we are realizing as a collective that we can build our own technological systems. Coasis is building the new internet. It's building an adaptive internet, one which people are in control of. I'm Arthur Brock of Holochain and uh, really excited about the project that Nico and uh, his team are doing in Coasis and Atom and Flux and they have a bunch of names, Perspectives, and because for one thing it actually is bridging gaps. Like one of the things that I think people get concerned about about Holochain is it is uh, it's not a blockchain and how does it interface with other things that people expect and it's like your project is bridging some of those gaps. It's, it's actually designed to be able to connect with anything. In nature, there's, there's no, you don't need permission to do something. Like in nature, you can reach out and, and touch things and interact with the environment. If I want to speak to you, there's no permission required for me to be able to do that. We have the the, the language of, of air and our own internal language in order to be able to speak. Flux is one of the flagship products of the Coasis ecosystem and it's built on the Atom ontology, uh, really demonstrating the agent-centric paradigm and interoperability and uh, bringing it to light in a more user-centric use case. So Flux is really uh, bringing forth the full potential of group coordination in digital spaces and essentially communities will be able to plug in different channels and different mediums for communication such as peer-to-peer -peer messaging, uh, audio and video, blog posts, project management uh, and the technologies that are powering these different tools that people can remix in and also use across other apps in the Atom ecosystem uh, can use any underlying technology. So some of the technologies that we're currently using are Holochain, IPFS, but you can imagine having services that uh, are also using other blockchain technologies and even centralized technologies. There are already existing systems. In centralized servers, there's blockchain and there's Holochain. With Atom, people can choose these technologies as they choose their ways of expressing themselves and Atom combines it all to one coherent whole. Atom is a revolution in the internet as we know it, right? right? It is bringing us out of this walled garden into this open, shared, commons like space. So I like the idea that that's connecting with Holochain and other blockchains and 
that you're using these as tools and weave it all together. It's a powerful, powerful idea. We kind of need to tap into this infinite game. To break out of these silos to create a more coherent digital space. We've built um, technology that can enable this. We want to claim back technology, we want to claim back the internet as something that's part of life, that's a living system as well.